Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk about these terrible Logitech flight instrument panels. But, um, you know, I wouldn't recommend buying them, of course. But if you have them, well, maybe you want them to work right. Uh, before I get started, if you need a computer and you live inside the United States, a good gaming PC, please visit us at xforcepc.com. Or if this video helps you, at least hit us with a like or a subscribe or something like that. Because if you have this specific problem, this will fix it. So with, and I do still have the film on here because I opened this up, this flight panel up just for this video. It was sealed in the box. But when you turn the heading bug thing, I'm not a pilot, um, it goes the wrong way. It go, I'm turning the knob to the right and the, the little bug here, the little orange thing goes to the left. Same with the, uh, the yellow line here. I turn to the right and it goes to the left, turn to the left and it goes to the right. The, the knobs are all backwards. And from what I can tell, on every single instrument, they are backwards. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. And if you follow this, you will absolutely have working knobs by the time we're done with this. So what you want to do, you need to run Notepad as an administrator. So I just go down to the search box and I type Note and then Notepad comes up here and I right click on it, right click on it and run as administrator and you have to say yes. And then you want to go to File and Open. And what you want to do is browse to your X-Plane folder. Mine is on my C drive. Yours might be on your desktop, but mine's on the C drive in a folder called X-Plane 11. Then, then you want to go into, once you're in your X-Plane folder, Resources, Plugins, X-SciTech Pro Flight. Um, and then down here in the lower right where it says Text Document, Go ahead and change this to all files so it'll show all files. And we're going to go into the data folder and then finally you'll find an XPL Logi plugin.xml in the resources plugins XSciTech ProFlight data folder within Xplane. You want to double click it to open it. So we're running Notepad as an administrator. We're opening this up and let's just give you a brief tour of this uh, what we're looking at here. I don't know if I can make this. Yeah, I can make this bigger. Um, so let's, yeah, let's go big. All right, so in each of these sections corresponds to one of the instruments. This one corresponds to the altimeter. So this whole section corresponds to the altimeter, and I've already fixed the knob on here, I believe. Airspeed, this whole section corresponds to the airspeed indicator, but I'm going to go down to... HSIB, which is the instrument we're interested in, highlight all that. All that has to do with the HSIB indicator. Now, each of these, button, 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 all the way down to number six, so all of these correspond to these buttons along the side of the flight instrument panel. Where you see buttons 7 through 11 here on this particular instrument uh, correspond to the knobs. And each knob has two things associated to it. This is the left knob decreasing, meaning turning it to the left. And this is the left knob increasing, meaning turning it to the right. So the left knob, when I decrease it or turn it to the left, it's going to go OBS up. Well, that's backwards. We want it to be OBS down because it's decreasing. So we simply change this word to down, and we change the other one here that corresponds to the same knob to up. Now, these two lines correspond to the knob on the right over here. And that is heading, the heading bug. So when we decrease, in other words, turn the knob to the left, right now it's set to set the heading bug up, which is backwards. We want the heading bug to go down. I don't know what moron wrote this XML file 
when they put this out, but they did everything backwards. Same thing here on the right knob. When we increase it, we want the heading bug to go up, up, not down. Now I'm going to close this file and be sure to say yes to save. If you did not run it as an administrator, you might get an error message saying, oh, you can't save this file because it's protected or whatever. So that's why I ran uh, Notepad as an administrator. Now we're going back into X-Plane. And we only modified this one instrument. We didn't fix anything else. And I've just got it kind of balanced up here. But when we turn this knob to the right, the heading bug should go to the right. Look at that. The little orange heading bug thing is going to the right. And when I turn to the left, it's going to the left. When I turn the left knob here, the yellow arrow is turning to in the correct direction. I'm turning it to the left, it's turning to the left. Turning it to the right, it's turning to the right. It's like magic. Whoops. Okay, so we fixed that one. Sorry, this uh, <laughs> balancing act is not working that well. Um, so next, what if we want to fix some of the other ones? So uh, I'm going to go to Notepad again, run as administrator. It should remember that we're in the folder we're in. I'm going to go to File and Open, and, it, and then I have to change this to show all files. And it remembers where we were. We were in the Xplane Resources Plugins XSciTech ProFlight Data folder. I'm going to go and edit this XPL Logi plugin.xml again. And if you recall, down here under HSIB, these are the four lines we changed. And let's just make this large again. Those are the four lines we changed. But I also found it looked like the altimeter was wrong. So under altimeter, right here, I changed these lines as well. Left decreasing, left knob decreasing means barometer down. Left knob de uh, increasing means barometer up. I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing right here. Barometer up, left increasing. And I fixed this one too. It does the same function. Right knob decreasing, barometer down, so forth. If you find that the, uh, all the other knobs are screwed up too, like the one here, well, we fixed that one. No, we didn't fix that one. The one under head, the one for heading, the heading indicator, left decreasing knob, OBS down. And I've already fixed this one. I fixed this one earlier. But I think you'll find yours is backwards from mine here. Uh, and then let's see, here's the HSIB, which we already fixed. The VOR1, it's probably wrong too. The left knob decreasing, meaning turning to the left, means OBS1 up. If you find that to be wrong, change this one as well. Change it to down. And turning it to the right, change it to up. And the right knob per basically performs the same function, but if you want it to be right as well, you can change this and just go through the whole list here. Um, the ADF. But make sure these are wrong before you go and change them, but I have a feeling you're going to find all of them are wrong. The left knob for the ADF, when you turn it to the left, meaning decreasing, ADF1 goes up. I bet you anything that's supposed to be down. So you just edit it and change it to down, and ap after you save it, it'll be right. So hopefully that helps you figure out how to fix your FIPs with the SciTech plugin for X-Plane 11. And remember to drop us a nice little like if this helped you out. And maybe throw some nice, I like to hear some nice comments like, oh, wow, thank you. That totally, you know, fixed things for me.